What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Final Fantasy 14. So I took your guys' advice. Uh, it looked like the consensus was to play it through all on my own. Um, just don't record it all. Um, so from so we skip ahead. We are now with Wiston or Weiston right now. Uh, and we need to file him to the Silda Ruins. And that's where we are. So let's hop into this way down the hole. Got the face cam back in the correct spot. We are all good to go. Thou thal, thal's balls, son. A vein of ore in the middle of a ruined bloody city. God's damned idiot. What do ye think was going to happen? That ye'd strike it rich and get cozy with the order? While the masters of Ulda looked on, no one crosses the syndicate. The, the, the syndicate? Ha, huh, finally sunk in, has it? Well, look at this. Not all you friends have deserted ye, it seems. Lucky boy, now you won't have to die alone. A mournful voice of creation grant ye this humble stone of soul, that it may wake to life. Oh, good. Oh, is that... Wait. Oh, wait, is that guy on my team? Who's that spouting gibberish? Show yourself. Oh, look, I may in fact have a little bit of help for this fight. I'll take it. I will take it. This ain't part of the plan. Bloody hells, does Lord Lo... Lolo Rito mean to kill us too? Oh look, they ran away. Oh look, I have to fight this thing now. Fantastic. Here we go. Let's do this. I turned the audio down on this because it was really loud. Alright, it's level 10. It's one level higher than me. Back it up. I don't know what's going to be the best to fight this thing. Alright, it does like 3 damage, which is not that much, but I don't really know the best way to fight things in this game yet. I don't know if it's best to just tank hits and trade or if there's an actual dodging mechanic to this game. It almost just feels like you need to be over, you need to outclass the enemy that you're fighting. I want cheaper magic real quick. And then I want to use this. But at a certain point, it just feels like you're trying to outclass the opponent damage wise. Okay, this is when we need to move. Definitely need to move away from that. Cannot stand in front and just take that. That's uh, That would have been a lot of damage. I don't know how much because I didn't let it hit me, but it just looks like it's an attack that would do a lot of damage. Let's switch that. Got some mana back. Oh crap, I gotta, I gotta get out of the circle! Oh, the circle. Okay. I think that still hit me, even though I got out of the circle. <laughs> okay, we got that back. Let's use our fire. Our heavy hit. Oh, back it up, back it up, back it up. Back it way up. There we go. Just got to back it way. Okay, hit him with that fire and then back way up behind him. Let's hit him with some fire. Come on, stop using your... Stop using your weird attacks that deal a lot of damage. Go take that hit. Should probably go to blizzards. We don't... He, uh, back it up. Just be safe. Probably could have sat hung in there and taken that hit and finished him off, but we'll back it up and we'll finish him off like that. Nice and easy. He was really, he was only worth 98 experience. I feel cheated. That dude was like a boss and he was worth 98 experience? Come on. That golem, that the golem could be, hold on, hold on. That the golem could be vanquished. That woman is no ordinary adventurer. Ah, so we have a, we have a nemesis watching us from afar. 98 experience really that's it that's really it for that monster that's all i got was 98 experience <laughs> tragic 
Oh, here's our friend here. Damn, seems I've missed all the fun. I see you didn't need my help this time. Oh, here we go. We're going to feign again. <laughs> She's doing what I'm about to do once I'm done recording this. Go to sleep. Got ourselves a cutscene here. I think any time it gives me an instance where I have to accept... So, oh, stop it. It, like, skipped the whole entire dialogue. I have oft heard it said that a Blossom's beauty can move a man to love it and long, but I never truly believed it until I met you two desert roses. I hear they attacked another caravan. Hey, and business is suffering for it. Bloody Almaja. What stirred him up, do you reckon? Another raid. And I'll wager that caravan was carrying crystals, much like the last. If they truly mean to summon a primal, we must act quickly. Are you coming, my love? You wouldn't keep a girl waiting, would you? Perish the thought. So tell me, where in this marvel of a city might you lovely ladies be staying? My man's got all the moves. Let me know, I probably should, I'll mention this at the beginning of a Black Desert episode, but let me know if you guys would be interested in me live streaming any of these games where, like with this, where I'm not doing every shred of it in a video. If you guys would be interested in a live stream that possibly went over some of it. Uh, at this rate, grain will soon be more precious than gold, but I'll go over that at the beginning of a video like I did at the beginning of the last Final Fantasy video. A result of the uncommonly bad harvest to be sure. And we have you to thank for them, do we not? A, this weakening of the etheric flow must surely be linked to Dalamud's descent. And of course, to the primals. A fine mess, but we must not lose hope. Luso? Luso? will know what to do. We need only trust in his judgment. So are these flashbacks, I'd assume? What is my dude wearing? Truly a marvel of Sherlean ingenuity. It's as if I could reach out and touch the Aether. Oh, it's like to see the Aether. It's a cool looking curved dagger. This, this cut seems like really quiet, like really quiet. Time to focus. No more gallivanting about like before. The scions are counting on you. Have faith. Just have faith. You can do this. There we go. I turned my volume a little bit to what I can hear. Hmm, this disturbance is recent. The Sultan Tree, maybe Papashan, will know something about or something of it. All right, we're off to see Papa Sean. I'm assuming this is just a flashback. I might be wrong, but that's what it feels like. It's just a, it's some flashbacks. Oh, look, I went to, I did go to sleep again. Looks like they gave you quite a thrashing. Can you walk? It's me. I was too late. Our person of interest had already quit the scene. The general? Very well. I shall be there anon. My colleagues went to great lengths to provide me with the means to detect etheric disturbances, but every time I find one, you seem to be in the middle of it. I'm starting to wonder if it might not be simpler just to follow you around. Sadly, I have business elsewhere. Tread softly, my friend. The carefully laid trap you dismantled was clearly sanctioned by Lord Lolorito. Lolorito? I heard the blades mention him as they fled. Believe me when I tell you that he is not a man to be trifled with. 
the Sultana's enemies grow bolder by the day, and I suspect they have the support of outside forces. Thank you. If you hadn't come along, those bastards would surely have slaughtered us all. I would speak with you further, but it isn't safe for us to linger here. Find me at the co coffer and coffin later. Until then, stay safe. Alright, well, I'll be seeing you at the coffer and coffin here soon. I shall accompany Weiston and his men. They need protection, and I need more information. Ah, but where are my manners? I have yet to properly introduce myself. I am Thancrid, a, honor, or a humble scholar surveying the flow of Aether and Thanalan. It is an honor and a privilege to make your acquaintance. I hope when next we meet is under more uh, auspicious circumstances. Farewell. Ah, wait a moment. It occurs to me that we may have... Eh, never mind. Farewell. Really? Really? Really, homie? Who does that? That's like the ultimate tease. Can't be doing that to people. Okay, so now we need to speak to Weiston, which means we have to head all the way back to the Kofer and Coffin. So let's get on our pretend horse, because we don't have a mount yet. And head towards the Kofer and Coffin. We're not too far away. Well, you can actually teleport to those places, return. Is this the upstairs of the coffer and coffin? I guess so. I wonder how much damage. Is this going to kill me? Nope, but it died. This game's got a little bit more, uh, a little bit more fall damage. All right, Weistan. How am I too far away? You're right. Oh, it's because I was selected on that stupid. Twelve bless you, my friend. You risk your life to save ours. Betrayed by my own guards. Gods. I was a fool to trust those men. Lolorito owns the goddamn brass blades. I should have questioned their motives from the start. Even so, I could hardly have predicted that the wealthiest man in Ulda would want me dead. The heinous crime of seeking to change the law. I'm just a merchant, for God's sake. The ruthless bastard, and what of that monstrosity? Those were his own men, a beggar's belief. Uh, wh well, that's it. I'm finished. If I stay in old any longer, I'm as good as dead. My associates, my friends, gods, even the children may not be safe if I don't disappear. And you, guys, damn it, if Lolorito learns of your involvement, you'll be next. I'll speak with the others and make sure your part in this stays secret. Beyond that, I don't know what to suggest. Maybe you should seek the counsel of Mistress Mamodi. She's helped countless adventurers in her time. Mayhap she'll know what to do. So qu so quickly now, my friend. Lolorito's spies may be watching. Okay, so now we need to go back and talk to Mamodi. Mamodi's the chick in the den, or in the, that owns that, like, hotel area, right? We gotta go this way, so we gotta go... We gotta turn around, go this way and down. I want to show like those instances like that, but then it feels like there's always just a bunch of dialogue after it and story related stuff. So I don't know what I'm gonna exactly do for content for this game. I'll probably skip some of them and just play, um, and then come back with some random stuff it seems like there's like some heavy story like that was heavy story related but like the eight quests i had done before that had like zero to do with the story like giving cookies to weiston's kids that he helps or like um there was a quest to to collect some uh ore I mean, just simple stuff like that that really has no massive impact on the story. It's really just to, uh, I don't know, level you up, filler stuff. I mean, it, it would all have to do with the characters. Like, a lot of it had to do with Weiston, but it's still filler stuff that doesn't have anything to relate it to the story, really. I guess I could have teleported back to the Steps of Nald, but that wasn't too long of a run. All right, and the good thing is, is she's right here. 
I believe. No, 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 never mind. Well, maybe. Oh, no, this, yeah, yeah, okay, I was right. Hello, Mamodi, I am back. Settle down, Rikaza, you've got nothing to worry about. No one seems to know you were at the ruins. Weistan, on the other hand, is now a pariah, about as welcome around here as a rabid wolf. Poor bugger. Suffice to say, that boy risked the wrath of the wrong man. Lord Lolorito, chairman of the East Aldenard, Aldenard Trading Company, generous contributor to the Order of Naldthal, and member of the Syndicate. Didn't get where he is by leaving loose ends, that one. Which is why he ain't above killing his own men. Hells, even if those blades knew it was coming... Uh, it's not like they could refuse to do their benefactors bidden. <sighs> Don't let this color you or view of old Aragaza. It's true that there are some here who ain't afraid to crack a few skulls if it gets them what they want. But most of us are decent folk just trying to make ends meet. You know, a lot of people would call you a goddamn fool for, a for risking your life to save a marked man. But I believe you did a good thing, Ragaza, and for that you have my respect. Listen, you've done through you've been through a lot lately. Why don't you rest for a spell? I'll have the boys at the hourglass set you up with a room. My treat, just have a word with a topa patopa whenever you feel like staying. In rooms now available. And when you've got your appetite for adventure and back, consider taking on a guild leave or two. We've got lots of requests for lo from locals looking to hire adventurers for various jobs. It'd be a good way for you to earn yourself some extra gill. Eustens can tell you more about how the system works, so go and speak with him if you're interested. Guild leaves. Okay. Mission complete. I just, like, all of a sudden had to yawn, like, really bad. That's my bad. Um, let's see. Bonuses. Let's go ahead and grab that. And our 3,200 experience. That probably leveled us up. You now have access to recommendations. This feature displays a list of quests or duties currently available in your area. The recommendation list can be opened from under duty in the main menu. It will also be displayed automatically when you log in. If you find yourself unsure of what to do next, this tool makes it simple to locate activities suitable for your present class and level. Sweet. Uh, that did not get us past level 9. Look at that experience now. It was like five thousand a piece to level up. Now it's, now it's almost nine. It's almost ten thousand. So, we're looking for main quest related stuff, and I am not seeing the main quest marker. Oh, I just needed. Oh, I need to talk to Mamodi, but Mamodi's main quest is locked behind level ten. I need to get to level ten. Can rest at the inn if we want. Good evening to you, adventurer. How may I serve you? Let's take a little bit of a nap. As you wish, madam. Right this way. Dana Lan Ulda. Ah, the unending journey. Ah, here we go. Underneath the Sultan Tree. Oh, it's a cutscene. You can go back and play the cutscenes. That's really cool. I'm not going to watch all of this, but... It's really cool that you can go back and play all these cutscenes. So if you forget, if you want to see the story again, you can if you want. Can I actually sl Oops. Can I actually sleep? Nothing. Log out. X. Okay. Um, what's this? Store an item. Let's see here. What is this? Can I... Hello? There we go. <laughs> Situated in your in-room estate... And squadron barracks, the armory, uh, can be used to store certain kinds of items with limited methods of attainment. These include job-specific gear, seasonal event garb, and so forth. You can determine whether or not an item can be stored in the armory by viewing its item help window. Please note that the only items with condition at 100% or above can be stored. Furthermore, storing an item will reset its spirit bond and condition as well as remove customized elements such as dyes and crests. Okay. Glamour dresser. You have not yet unlocked the glamour dresser. Okay, toy chest. I have not unlocked that. Crystal ball. Not unlocked that. Not unlocked the summoning bell. I, I'm assuming this just has to do with the music. 
Rolls, rolls can be obtained. Yeah, this just has to do with the music. Yeah, okay. Retainers. Summon bells are used to call forth any retainers you have in your employ. Retainers are helpful NPCs who can be hired by players to maintain items and gill, as well as place goods up for sale in the markets. Once you have given approval to hire retainers, speak with Frydwib in Limsa Laminsa, Parnell in Gridania, Cha Chachabi in Old Prunilla in Ishgard, or Kazashi in Kugain. These names are going to be the freaking death of me. Okay. Let's go ahead and head out of here. Exit the room. Steps of Nulled. Alright, so this was our dude over here. But I might not be high enough level. Leaves of Horizon. And I gotta be level 10. Leave meant. My apologies, man, but I'm not authorized to issue guild leaves to those as new to adventuring as you appear to be. I might serve you well to step outside city walls and see the world before running headlong into tasks. That will only put your precious life in danger. All right. Well, let's see. We could deliver Oswald Oswald's package to Horizon. I don't know what that consists of, but. We could deliver. We could do that. We could deliver Oswald's package. Um, I think this is a good place to call it, though. I'm kind of at a dead end here for right now. I need to level up to level ten, which sadly will take a little bit longer than I want it to take for me recording purpose wise. It's also getting late, two twenty seven a.m. my time where I live, um, and so. I will farm up to level 10, start the level 10 quest, and we'll hit you back. We'll hit, we'll pick this back up um, in the future sometime. I don't know if there's gonna be if there's gonna be these level caps. It really makes me want to just buy level 60 and then just play this for the pure story. But it's really kind of we we've hit a weird a weird area of this because buying the level 60 then puts me in an odd scenario because then i'm just over leveled for everything and then i'm literally going to be sprinting through this just enjoying the story but maybe that's an option i probably wouldn't be over leveled once we got to to heaven's word and stormblood so i'll decide i'll sit here i'll think about i'll contemplate it at work tomorrow before i record the next episode but uh, that's going to do it guys i hope you all enjoyed drop it a big old like if you did subscribe if you have not and i will catch you all in the next one peace